What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to show you a new shader, another free, yes, free shader that I'm going to send to you guys. Of course, all you need to do is go to description and hit the Gumroad link and you'll be able to get this project file and the shader. So let me walk you through what it is, what I think it is anyway, <laughs> how you can use it and some kind of fun things you can do with it. Without further ado, let's get started, my friends. So the first things first, I've got two project files, as always. I've got one which is normal and another one which is a 4K60. Again, this is going to be the 4K60 version because why not? As soon as you open up, you're going to see that the material says adjust colors and emission strength. This is for the super lazy lazies who don't really want to be messing around with any of the notes. They just want to change the color of whatever it's going to be. Change the color of this kind of loads in animation and maybe the strength. So you could do that. But if you want to get to the nitty gritty, I'm about to show you what to do. So you can zoom out. This is a little node setup. Again, all you need to do is download the file and then you can take a look at it in more detail. But if you want to change, adjust the timing of this kind of like loads and animation, what you need to do is find the mapping node, which has these purple values. In fact, I'm, I may even include a frame, which says adjust timing. In fact, I'll probably do that. Okay. So I've just created a frame that says adjust timer. So all you need to do is find this frame, <laughs> find this frame, and then you should see these two values. So the location are both purple. So what you need to do is click onto it and you'll see that there's this kind of like math equation in here. All you need to do is change this value. So for example, if you wanted to slow it down, you could do zero five. That's gonna slow it down even more. And you could do the exact same for the other one, zero five. Now it's super slow. If you wanna speed it up, you can just increase the value, change the number. I'm gonna make this maybe six. And you see it goes, whoa, that's a bit too crazy. But you get the point. If you wanna change the speed, just change these two values. Another cool thing you can do is if you adjust the rotation, you can actually get some pretty cool effects. It actually kind of changes the way this kind of load and effect animation works. If I go to my rotation and I'm just gonna change the Z axis and see what happens. You can see now, that we kind of have this, this looks, oh, this looks crazy. So at the end, you see we have this effect. These two still look the same. As you can see, we've got four different types of meshes, well, three meshes. We've got a plane, we've got a cylinder, and we've got a box. So with the plane, the plane's doing the exact same thing, and so is the cylinder, it's not really changing much. But the box you can see is doing this animation. This is kind of cool. I kind of like this. Kind of like it a lot. Okay, let's adjust it more and see what we get. Okay, so now that's strange. It seems to be going the other way. Or oh, are my eyes playing tricks on me? I don't know, what's happening? Okay, if you go plus, it goes one way. If you go minus, it goes the other way. Okay, that's good to know. See, I'm learning things about my own little, little shader here. That's interesting. If we increase it, let's see what happens. Oh, that is kind of cool. They seem to be having this kind of like overall shape. And at the end, it's kind of merging into each other. And you can see now the plane and the cylinder. No, the cylinder is still doing the same thing. The plane seems to be going like, zoop, almost like dripping, like a yo-yo effect, which is kind of cool. Let's continue to increase and see what we get. I'm kind of interested to see what would happen if we use a sphere for this. In fact, I'll leave you to do the experimentation. This is kind of cool. This kind of looks like it's going in the cylinder, but it's not. It's actually a box, it's still a cube. The default cube at that. And that's kind of cool. This is a cool, I think it's a cool shader. I think it's definitely a kind of cool shader. What else have we got? Let's increase even more. Mm. Spooky. Okay, and then the more we go, it goes back to how it was originally. And then it inverts interesting i think that's kind of cool i haven't tried messing with any of the other axes for rotation oh okay so if you change the axis for the other rotation we've got this that seems to be that's kind of cool that is kind of cool let's adjust the other z axis again see what we get okay that's kind of strange. that is this is kind of cool I might change the color to blue real quick. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, that's see, this is, yeah, I like it a lot. Well, why? 
Okay. Intriguing. I guess I'm going to leave you to the experimentation. Now the blue is way too bright for me. Let me change the color. Oh, that green kind of looks kind of interesting. Let me reduce the emission strip just a tad. Nice. The main node to adjust some of the parameters are here. So if you want to increase the scale, you could. You can decrease the scale. But again, I'll leave you to experiment. I'll leave you to play a bit. But yeah, that's the basis of this. This nice little material shader that you can get for free on my Gumroad as usual. So yeah, guys, that was literally just a quick one for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little setup, this node setup, this material, this shader, whatever you want to call it. This loading animation. If you like it, let me know in the comments below. I'll probably release another one. In fact, I'm I will release another material, random material next week. I've also got the fire material, the anime fire material. So if you haven't downloaded that, then go to my Gumroad and download that. That's also free. Check it out. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace. Thank you.